I'm Connie Fanders. And I'm Nina McVeigh. And today we're going to talk about hexes. Hexes are so popular now, Nina, you see them in lots of quilts and a we lot do. of projects. And traditionally, we would see this shape in something like the grandmother's flower mm -hmm. garden. Um, I have been working on this quilt, quite honestly, for many years, mm -hmm. and I've been piecing it together by hand. And on my Bernina, we do have a way to sew hexes quickly, easily, and accurately. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now these hexes, I actually bought all of these on a flea market, and they were pre-cut by somebody many, many years ago. And so they aren't all completely accurate mm -hmm. as I put them together. But the first step in putting a hexie together is to start with your center mm -hmm. hexie, and then around it, you typically will see in a flower garden pattern, all solids. So I have my two pieces together here. You know, typically when we sew a seam of our, our quilt pieces, we will go from end to end. Mm -hmm. But on a hexi, when you sew a hexagon, you want to actually start a quarter of an inch in at this point here, and you're going to stop here. So that way when we go to place our other, our next block on, you can imagine this being stitched to that point, then we would lay it here and again, we would stitch from this point to this point. And it's important to be accurate right at that point That's so correct. that matches. So you can see on this one here how all of them then would lay flat. Which is easy to do by hand. Those corners are when you have to do something like that. But now it's also easy to do with our machine because we can program the machine to do the exact number of stitches that we need for that section and then stop. So that'll be the same number on all sides. Correct. So Nina, to sew our hexes, we're going to program the machine to start here and stop here. Cool. So to program it in, we're using the feature called the stitch counter. So I have the stitch counter on, and now I need to put my hexi block under my foot and lower my foot. I have the quarter inch or the patchwork foot on and there is a mark behind the needle which is exactly a quarter of an inch from the needle. And so I want to line up the corner piece of my hexi block to that marking on my foot. Then I'm ready to sew. So I'm going to lower my foot and begin to sew the exact number of stitches that I need and then the machine will stop. I will cut my thread. And it's secured for you too here. Yes, it did. And so now I have programmed in the exact number of stitches that I'm going to need for all sides of sewing my hexi. So my next step is to take the next block. I fold this piece back and I put this block right on top. Then again I'm going to start sewing a quarter of an inch away and I just sew until my machine automatically stops at the exact place that I need it. It makes it so easy and so accurate. Now we have the ro one row of stitching done. Mm -hmm. So we flip back the petal, grab our next block, line it up, and we're ready to sew again. This makes it so much easier it and really faster. Does. Right. And I continue this until I sew all six petals around the side of the beginning hexi. We have all of the petals, the six petals, sewn onto our center hexagon. And now we need to stitch the seam of the Y seam. And so to do that, I'm just going to put the two neighboring hexes together. And then I'm going to sew from this point here to here. And so now we have the Y seam completed. You would continue around the entire hexagon till every all the Y seams are sewn. And you know it's accurate because it uses the same number of stitches because of the stitch counter. Exactly. 
If you would like to know more about this and the fabulous stitch counter on the Bernina, visit your local Bernina dealer today.